Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome, everybody joining us on Zoom. Welcome, everybody joining us on Facebook. Welcome, everybody joining us um, through mental telepathy, out of the body travel, whatever it is you're doing to join us. I'm glad you're here. Uh, and um, we have a really great, <laughs> everybody's laughing at me. Uh, we're having a really, really great session tonight. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I am going to uh, do my normal introduction. My name is Mike DeLuca. I'm your host tonight. This is the Sunday Goal Achievement Mastermind, and it is sponsored by my company, Integrative Wellness and Development, LLC. Uh, it is not affiliated with any person, place, thing, group, organization other than my company. And we are strictly here for education and inspiration and perspiration, but we do not diagnose, cure, or prevent anything other than ignorance. So that's uh, what we're all about. <laughs> Lots of thumbs up there. Okay, so we're going to get started tonight. We have a great topic. We have some great exercises to do, and I think we're going to have some great discussion. So I'm going to take us over to that right now. And we push lots of magic buttons to get this on the screen. And here we go. And that is our topic for our Sunday Goal Achievement Mastermind with Mike. How to mix our past successes with our past disappointments to bake a delicious present and limitless future. Could you tell I was really hungry this morning when I came up with that topic, right? <laughs> I was. So let's jump right into that. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to look at, you know, we all have these situations where things go really, really right for us, and we're really happy and excited about it. And then, you know, we have situations where things don't go so well for us. And as a result, you know, we might be disappointed. But the truth of the matter is, every experience we have, whether we are successful and celebrate, or whether we're not successful and might be a little disappointed, the successes and the non-successes, they're linked. They're linked together because they both exist to support our learning to support our personal development and support our ability to create a more uplifting and more, you know, uh, wise and wonderful future. And I totally and firmly believe that it has been the way my life has gone. And I know the way that so many of your lives, lives have gone once we put our attention in the right place. So, the first question I'm going to ask you is, I'm going to ask you to think about some past successes, and we'll put that on the left side of your piece of paper. So go ahead and get your paper and pen and make two columns on your piece of paper. On the left column, past successes. On the right column, past disappointments. Underneath past successes, let's pick at least three learning takeaways, three things that you learned from that success about yourself, about life, about success, about um, growth, whatever it is, pick three things that as a result of you succeeding in that adventure, you are able to take these three things away to be able to use them as valuable tools in the future. So let's start with that. I'll give you a few minutes, right? Take, take a couple of successes in your life or pick one success that you know you can pull three learning takeaways from and go at it. I'll give you some time to do that. Wish I had a, a game show um, soundtrack, you know, the dun, 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 while you're, you're doing your exercise, but uh, you can entertain yourself if you already have these three things picked out. So take some time to do that. And I encourage the folks that are joining us on Facebook Live as well, get a piece of paper, 
put a, a line down the middle on the left past successes on the right past disappointments then list three takeaways from each of them okay if you've already successfully picked a success and three takeaways from a successful experience go ahead look at an experience that did not work out so successfully and that's okay um maybe they're ones that you were disappointed in the outcome but once you list three learning takeaways I guarantee you you might not be so disappointed when you see that you know what there are three at least three things I learned from it at least three tools I gained from it that I have applied or can apply to building a better life for myself go ahead and list those things Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit more time. And I'm going to stop the share, take a look at y'all. Can you give me a thumbs up when you are ready to move on to the next part? How many people are ready? Thumbs up. How many people need a little more time? Thumbs down. Okay. I'll give you just another minute. And again, this is something not just for tonight. This is something for the rest of your life to be able to take a look at these experiences and understand that every experience we have is filled with opportunities to learn from and full of cues how to make our life even more incredible even more amazing even more rewarding and enjoyable okay we're going to go back And just check it out here. Okay. Good. We're back on the screen. All right, we're going to move on now to the next phase of this exercise. All right, on your left side of the opposite side of the piece of paper, turn your piece of paper over or get a second piece of paper. What I want you to do is those clues you identified in the first part of the experience, right? The, the takeaways, the learning takeaways from success and from disappointment. You had three and three or six. I want you to list those six clues, those six takeaways. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once you've listed them here on this side of the paper or this piece of paper, I want you to think about how you could take an action in your life starting tomorrow to implement this clue in something you're doing or planning to do that could actually help you take a step forward in achieving your goals, making your life more fruitful, more enjoyable. Take a look at that for each of these items so what one action item could you take for clue number one 
What action item could you take? Clue number two. What action item could you take? Three, four, five, six. So at least one action item, you could do more if you want, for each of the clues that you identified as a learning moment or a learning experience that you want to work with that came from both the successes and the disappointments. Let's take some time now. And for folks uh, who are live here in our Zoom call or live in Facebook Live, go ahead, take that second piece of paper and list these items. And then the actions that you could commit to to implement them. And I'll give you some time for that. And while you're doing this, also keep an eye open for these action items that may logically go together. And it may be an action item from a success and an action item from a disappointment, but they fit well together as an action item you can commit to, to take a step forward towards your goals or take a step forward towards a happier life. So as you're listing these, be aware of and circle the ones, you know, that look like they're good, they can go together. And think about putting that into your plan. And I'll give you some time to look at that. So, for example, you may find one and four, even though number one came from a success and number four came from a disappointment, you might find that one and four are actually connected. Or you might find two and five or three and six or two and four, whatever it is, take a look and see if there are any connections there.
Okay, I'm going to stop the share so I can see your bright, shiny faces and we can uh, we can continue now to discuss our experiences here. So I, I found this very, very interesting when I was doing it, when I first discovered this. And I actually found uh, an interesting connection um, between working with my dreams and working with examining the experiences I have in my life. And, and, you know, I found that, you know, if you have several different dreams in a night that you remember, or you have several different dreams, but you only remembered one, I found that there was a central connection between the different dreams and the topic or learning or balancing we were trying to do uh, in that evening or where we were traveling that evening, there was some sort of central learning experience. And then, you know, after I retired and I looked back on my 45 years of work experience and I looked at, you know, there were these jobs that worked out exactly as I had planned them and they worked out really, really well. And then there were these other ones that no matter what I did, I could not get them to go the direction that I thought it was supposed to go and that I had worked so hard for it to go, but it just wouldn't go that way. When I started to look at them, I realized, oh, wow, I learned as much from the ones that worked out as I did from the ones that didn't work out according to plan, because in actuality, life's plan was different than my plan, right? Life's plan for my learning, my gathering of skills, my gathering of experiences that would lead to what, you know, I refer to now as the three L's, right? More learning, more loving, and more liberation. I found that there were as many or more experiences that didn't work out as I had planned, <clears throat> as experiences that worked out as I planned. There were as many, if not more, that still learned, still led me to more learning, more loving, and more liberation. And so that's kind of the spirit of this exercise and the you know the idea that i want to plant with you um tonight and as you move on through time working with this is to be able to look at every experience um i think the term in philosophy is non dualistic right look at this experience and realize there is no separation between success and non-success, because I don't like to use the word failure, success and disappointment. There really is no wall separating them other than our expectations, our attachments, our beliefs, and our judgments. We talked about this in past discussions that every experience, the ones that work out, the ones that don't are filled with jewels of learning. They're filled with multiple mirrors to reflect back to ourselves, our characteristical strengths, our characteristical areas that could use strengthening, our superpowers, our, our goals, our dreams, our values, our virtues, our destiny is all within those experiences, whether they work out the way we planned or not. The point is not to always think everything's going to work out the way we plan, but to understand how to follow whatever the plan is behind what's happening and look for the pony in the poop, right? Look for the jewels in the buried treasure. So that's what this exercise is all about. So I'm really interested to hear some of uh, the learnings you gained from both successes and disappointments, especially the disappointments, and 
what action items you uh, have found as logical ones to commit to, to take what you learn and implement them in your life to make your life richer. So who would like to go second? There you go. Okay. Marvin, unmute yourself and share your wisdom. Uh, so the first thing that came to me with this was one of my past successes was um, turning around my relationship with my cousin from a point where we were going to just not have a relationship anymore to the place that we have now, which is very close. We're closer than ever. And um, and and one of the biggest takeaways in that whole process was the listening that I learned to listen from nothing, to listen without opinion or judgment or my need to teach him something or any of that stuff. And what, what I'm really, I never, I didn't think of this before, but the, the action item is to partner with him in my music quest. Mm -hmm. Because we both love music and we love to play both together and in other groups. And I've always wanted a kind of a committed listener to say, you know, I'm going to learn this song this week. And just have somebody as a committed listener for that so that at the end of the week, I have some, I'm accountable to somebody. Great. So I'm going to implement that. So let, let me ask you, um, how what how can you implement that in ways that you were not thinking about prior to tonight? It's about taking the time to listen to people in my life. Um, and ask a lot of ask a lot more questions okay. get get deeply into their lives and learn what makes them tick and what's important to them so that i can support them okay. like that like taking listening to the next level with people and yourself and myself which involves uh, the other part of the lessons about self-love. Yep. That that because self-love is is in, like intricately back and forth with that, with, especially with in, in failure, in failure stuff, because that needs to be accepted and just allowed to be there. And learn from it like that. Yeah. And, that, and that's why I use the term, you know, a disappointment or a, an, an area that did not go the way you had planned. Because um, there really is no failure. So, but self acceptance, self love, and self compassion, self patience are really wonderful, powerful lessons we can gain from anything that doesn't work out the way we plan instead of beating ourselves up or creating stress. So much stress in our life comes from trying to force things to happen or control things that are out of our control and then feel that stress, right? So yeah, I appreciate that, that, you. Al that also helped me to, to be complete about the project that we worked on together, which yeah, did, sure. 
which didn't go the way I wanted it to, but there were a lot of lessons along the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. So thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Jocelyn. All right. So uh, I choose as a past success, um, the learning takeaways from it was uh, when I, um, I won uh, as a little girl about 10 years old in amateur radio contest playing music and I was a very shy little girl and <laughs> I was on stage with public and jury and whole thing <laughs> so the little girl coming up there with the the, the, the accordion the thing is where I what I the takeaways what I give it with love and for love at the time was for my father um, and also my school, my teacher. And um, the second is that someone is always there to help because what got me to really get into it was the pianist who accompanied me. I was so shy when I turned to him playing on stage and he went with his finger up. That was it. That make it for the rest of the thing. So there's always someone there to help. Then the third was going on stage was helping me overcome shyness. And um, so that's what was what a, another takeaway. <clears throat> so um, uh, that stayed with me. And what I learned from that, the clues is that if, if I give, if I give what I have with love, uh, chances are I will win. Because in that case, there was another contestant that was that had more talent, I believe. We've been used to win most of the time. I was sure I was not the winner that day, but I just happened to be. And I think that if you give it with love, chances are that uh, you may win, if, even if you don't have the, all the talent that's needed. Also, that someone is always there to help. Um, and if I give it with love, when I'm the, the action that is given with that is that if I give my webinar coming, as a greater service of, of love, that will make a difference. Then someone is always there uh, to help. Um, the action um, item is that turn to trusted people to help you. Choose well your partners. The third is overcoming shyness. Well, the action is that I think that moment as a little girl, uh, what is, has been helping me build on success in, in delivering public. I was already being prepared as a little girl to work out a more public uh, role eventually. <clears throat> now the disappointment, the disappointment had to do with a presentation I did on NLP years ago. And I really flopped the thing. <laughs> and I was, I was so disappointed with myself and the one thing I learned was that to stick to what you're good at, because I got out of my way to introduce other things to make it supposedly better, but that's what made it flop. The second, stay with your stuff. Don't try to bring other people thinking they're better than you, just stay with your stuff. And then the third, Ensure that you have the support of the one involving you with your preparations to avoid the pitfalls so that you don't get any last minute surprise or get yourself caught because you don't have all the information you should have. So that was a big learning for me, that experience. Now, uh, if I look at the key clues that comes with that is stick to what you're good at. <clears throat> It means for me, the action is to trust your material and do more of what you do very well. And uh, then stay with your stuff and make, make it yours. You know, trust your advice, trust your expertise. And, um, and then the, the last is ensure you have the support of the people involved with you in the activity. That would mean was to check that everything is aligned before you jump in including uh, having practice before, logistics, everything. So I think this was, even if it was very hard, I remember after that event, I went in my hotel room. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of there. I was so disappointed with myself, but it was a great learning for future, uh, future involvement in public and other ways of working with, with people so that you have all the elements uh, 
on your side to do the best that you can do. Great. Great. Really appreciate you sharing that. And um, yeah, sometimes those situations that don't work out can be incredibly stressful, embarrassing, and really test our self-confidence. But if we can have this attitude that we're talking about tonight and understand that everything is really happening for our learning, everything is happening for our benefit. In fact, we actually, if we analyze and trace, we have had a major hand in crafting the very experience that is leading to us learning. And, and sometimes we don't want to see it, but We've actually, through our choices, have crafted the things that did not go according to plan, uh, but they lead to a better um, growth experience down the road. So, uh, you know, great, uh, great learnings from that. Thanks for sharing that, Jocelyn. Who's next? Randy, what are you thinking? Randy, but did, Randy raises his hand. Okay. Randy, did you raise your hand? Or were you just waving? We don't hear you, Randy. You need to unmute. There it is. There we um, go. Yeah. So this is great, Mike, uh, because, um, you know, I, I was also uh, waving hello to a, a success experience um, that um, really talk about crafting, you know, how your life comes together is, and something that you had never anticipated and it starts falling into place. And next thing you'll see, there is one more experience in my life that I have been provided that has taken me exactly to where I need to be going, despite the fact that I, I had no, no sort of connection with it. And so um, it goes back to a dream experience I had a number of years ago. And I, I had been introduced to a plant-based lifestyle. I had to, introduced to a kind of a high frequency um, a, you know, diet, uh, doing live greens and juices and all of this kind of thing. And it seemed great. And I, I was feeling good from it. Um, and I was about you know, a week into experimenting with that. And I had a dream. And in the dream, it said, uh, you have been introduced. Um, to an opportunity that can grant you uh, health and wellness, but also you can you can you will be shown everything that's necessary in order for you to pull this off, in order for you to do this, um, and then provide this to others. Um, and and it said and then in the dream it said um, there was a gold seal and it said life force certified. And I didn't know what that meant, but it was it was in this gold seal and. So I, I, you know, I took it and I, I kind of like said, okay, I, I will try this. I will, I will accept responsibility for whatever it is that I'm going to be shown and, and taught to be able to take an opportunity that I am experiencing right now out to others and they will, they will be afforded the same opportunity. And so sure enough, I did that. Um, but it was also given something else that was giving me a very powerful yeah, affiliation with this. It, it was a love experience in my heart for what it was that I was introduced to, what it was doing for me, where it was taking me. And now in my connection with it grew beyond just a, 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 an undertaking so to it was actually a, became a passion. And having a passion as a premise, you know, for what it is that you want to do and what you want to accomplish um, is, I find, is essential because it's going to give you the staying power and the motivation to hang in there and to do it. So uh, I did that. Um, and from that, I, um, I, I, I built a business. And I, grew, and I, I built a, be a greenhouse. And I started growing all these plants that were turning me on. That were, they were elevating my immune function, stabilizing my body chemistry and taking me to places that I never knew I had, you know, that I could, that I could be going to. And, and so lo and behold, uh, next thing I knew, I was uh, uh, physically, vibrationally, 
consciously, my consciousness changed, it shifted to, wow, if I can do this, I can do this. And if I've got the, if I've got the energy and I've got the drive and the passion to do this, I, then I, there's a lot of other things waiting for me out there that I can, I can also entertain, you know? So I, I did that um, and, and, it, and it grew from there. And, and I only had my own personal experience to draw on to, for, for others um, in terms of, well, what has it done for you? And then, you know, let me list the ways, you know, and I did. So that was powerful. Um, and so there, there was this, you know, sim seemingly um, inconsequential dream experience that I had. Um, and it actually uh, became a golden, not a golden uh, uh, platter. It was a golden key um, that was waiting for me to unlock um, endless opportunities to be able to take this not only to my own, to my own um, uh, life and, and, and uh, experience, but to others and have them have similar situations. Um, saving lives, there's a lot of lives being saved here. And I've, That's got, right. I've, got, I've got videos of them and, and um, yeah, on my website now and the testimonials. Um, and, uh, and so this one woman, she had, you know, uh, four people in the world had this cancer and she's one of them. And all they could offer her in a, in a, a famous hospital in Boston, I'm sorry, okay, nothing we can do. We don't even know what this is. We don't know how to treat it. You know, nothing we can do. We'll give you a chemo and radiation, you know, experience for the next three months. Um, but other than that, nothing we can do. Um, and then she had gone to, uh, she had another, went to Hippocrates Institute and they were telling her that, that your body can be enabled. Your body can be elevated and can be gradually transformed into a higher frequency through which now your immune system can start to protect you. So she says, I'm going that way. She told the doctors, I'm sorry, I don't want it. Um, and then she came back and it's a long story and her, and, and her story is on her website. But, but the point was, um, they said, there's nothing you can do. And if you don't do what we're doing, if we don't do what you tell, I tell you to do, you're not gonna make it. And she, and, but she knew inside of her that everything she was getting was just like me. I'm getting everything that I need. She knew everything. She got referred to us, she came back from Florida, she called me, I, I, I'm supposed to work with you. And I said, great. And then we got her everything that she needed and her, and her, uh, and her, her blood numbers tripled in a week. They couldn't do it in six months with all of their drugs. So it was, a, it, it, was a, it was a powerful experience for her, but for everybody that, that um, is affiliated with us, that works with us, and that now they have, they've seen this, um, but they have also now uh, found that um, you will be given what you need when you need it. She yep. got it, so did I. Well, thank you for many reasons, Randy. Thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you for all you do and have done to uplift the health and, and consciousness of so many people out there. I'm glad you you clarified the uh, plants you were growing to turn you on, meaning turning on your immune system <laughs> versus those other plants that grew in the 60s. Um, but uh, we really appreciate you sharing that. And thank you again for the impact you're having on, on people's lives and health. Uh, really do appreciate that. And a great, great illustration. Um, you know, I have so many, many stories like that, um, uh, especially, you know, in times when I was brought to my knees. And uh, I think I've shared this back, you know, when I was kind of halfway into that year of being homeless and all my money ran out and uh, sleeping on tents and couches and cars. And, and a job came up at a good friend of mine's company. And um, uh, it was a job, it was a really entry level kind of sit behind a desk in a closet kind of job, uh, no creativity, but it was a job. I knew I could do it. It would make me the money I needed to get a place to live and get my life back in order. And I basically went to my friend on my knees begging for this job. 
And um, he listened to my story and where I was and what was going on. And he almost started to cry. And he looked at me and he said, Mike, this is the most difficult thing I've ever had to do as a business owner. He says, I know you could do this job with your eyes closed. But I also know in about six months, you would hate it. You'd hate yourself and you'd hate me. But more importantly, there is something more out there for you. And if you take this, you will lose that opportunity. It'll go away and you'll be stuck doing something that you don't love and don't enjoy. He said, so as much as this is going to kill me, I'm going to have to say, I cannot give you this job. And I was crushed at first. But then, you know, when I went back from there, I realized, wow, you know, he's a very, very wise person. And um, I took that into contemplation. What was he talking about? And I, I really did some searching about, you know, what were what were my dreams, right? What was my vision of my true capabilities, my unlimited possibilities? And the more I began to focus on that and live into the future of having already achieved those better things, those opportunities came right into my lap, you know. Um, and so, uh, you know, had I taken what would have been a sure thing, the easy way out, I wouldn't have learned what I've learned. I wouldn't be here today talking with you, right? Um, I wouldn't have touched the lives of the millions of people over the years that I've, I've had the honor of touching had I played small, had I, you know, acted out of um, panic and lack versus really understanding the learning um, that what the suffering I was going through was I was learning so much. And I was preparing to be so much bigger and better a person. So um, just, you know, take that and put that in your file. If you ever, you know, encounter yourself having something that doesn't work out. Remember the stories being told here tonight. Remember that story. Uh, I could tell you a hundred other ones. My wife could talk for a year about, you know, it was almost a comical thing when something didn't work out and all of a sudden, you know, we were, oh, what are we going to do? She'd always say, well, uh, you've gone through this a hundred times and a hundred times something better came along. So let's just celebrate. Let's celebrate this loss. Because you know? <laughs> she knew, you know, you, know, you were always going to take lemons and make it into lemonade. You know, that that's always the way it's been. So. Who else? Who else has something to share? Robin. Well, as I sat here going through the list, um, what's interesting is my reactions to both the positives and negatives uh, uh, remind me of the the parable where the tagline is "We'll see," because. Um, like there was a dance competition and my mom didn't get involved with any kind of information collection. So I was always just like trying to gather on my own. And I wanted, I wanted this summer camp so badly. I had no idea that it wasn't just an, a physical audition that they were going to then screen you and ask you you know, what, what magazines you, well, I wasn't allowed to ever read any magazines other than National Geographic, you, you, you know, so there were all these little things that I was totally unprepared for, for this um, audition. So again, I had made it through the talent, but, um, and as a result of that, you know, it's, I learned, I have to know everything, right? And learning everything every which way you know studying I study things backwards forwards I, I study the answers and then try to figure out the questions and then the questions figures out the answers so all of that I do but I can't be expected to know everything right so so on one hand that strategy served me well that that emotional reaction on the other but on the flip side it's also something I need to 
temper or right because I can't possibly know everything. There are always going to be things that happen out of my control. So it was interesting, kind of like you're saying that, you know, I always seem to make lemonade out of whatever lemons come along. And I think maybe that's the biggest takeaway for me is to trust that I always, I always figure out how to make the lemonade. Um, uh, something along the lines of what Randy said, as I, I learned later on that while I might find something valuable to me, it doesn't necessarily translate well into something that's a business model for others. Um, so I need to be aware of that, uh, to be comfortable with what I am creating, because when I can promise an outcome or um, know a benefit, I am much more successful at it. So that's that's something that I learned from the failures um, that has done well by me. You know, that's that's more than what we can ask for. You know, that's wonderful, Robin. Thanks, thanks for sharing that and for seeing that inside of yourself. Because again, there are going to be people watching this over time and you know, that realization of yours is going to click and they're going to say, yeah, I can do that. You know, because she did it, I can do that. And I think it's um, it's so important to remind ourselves that any experience we go through, any challenge we struggle with, any burden we suffer with, we are carrying unseen, untold numbers of others on our shoulders. And when we successfully navigate the learning and we successfully come out of the experience having grown in one way, shape, or form, we have done so not just for ourselves, but for limitless unseen numbers of people in limitless worlds, dimensions, and times, right? Because we are multi-period, multi you know, frequency, multi-level beings, multi-galactic, multi-dimensional, multi-frequency, right? We are unlimited in everywhere, and we are touching an unlimited number of lives and, and incidences through our learning, our loving, and our own liberation. And um, so much of that has to do with Controlling our attitude, controlling our actions versus reacting, the trust we place in the higher natures to know that there's always something to be gained and that life is always providing opportunities for us to take a step forward. You know, so thank you for, uh, for sharing that. Well, we're coming to the end, and I must uh, have you struggle and suffer now through my commercial message. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. Uh, consider it your karma. <laughs> you know, I'm going to I'm going to share this. So. As you know, um, <clears throat> I have this company, Integrative Wellness and Development. I actually have a number of people who work with me and whose efforts I support, whose lives I support, and um, the things that help me support them and the other causes and things that I'm behind uh, are my programs. So I'm really proud that uh, this month I'm launching uh, a new program, the Evolved Health Caring Thought Leader Program. This is a combination of masterclass coaching and also evergreen recorded programs. Uh, very excited. Several of you here are clients in that program and uh, I think have received a number of great benefits from it. So if you are in any sort of healthcare, whether it be uh, traditional Western or whether it be alternative or integrative, whether you are a nurse, a therapist, a doctor, whatever it is you do to uh, uplift and help in, improve the health of other beings, physical, emotional, or mental, 
Uh, this is a program that can truly take you to the next step in your career and in your future life. And so if you want more information on that, um, you can see the links in the emails that I sent out, or you can go to EvolvedHealthCaring.com, EvolvedHealthCaring.com, and uh, see all the wonderful things that are going on with that program. Uh, I can only take eight clients right now in the 2023 phase. So um, we have filled four slots. So there's four slots open. And then there will be eight more slots uh, once I've completed the work that is done with uh, those clients. So um, if you're interested, go to EvolvedHealthCaring.com, sign up for a private, free, 30-minute um, discovery call with me, and we can explore together how this program can help you evolve your career, uh, create um, unlimited earnings potential for your future, uh, and also really uh, raise your own recognition within the healthcare community as a thought leader. So I encourage you, uh, if you're in healthcare, take a look, evolvedhealthcaring.com. Other programs. Um, many of you started out with my Goal Mastery journaling system, an incredible tool to help turn every day into a stepping stone up to achieving the goals and things you've dreamed of. It organizes, it inspires, it affirms, it organ it helps you really connect with gratitude, with focus with um, making the right choices of things to do and things not to do and how to be of service every day and all kinds of other benefits, value discoveries, dreams, working with your dreams, uh, all of these wonderful pieces that are normally seven or eight separate journal programs. They've all been weaved together, combined in one amazing program that has given many people amazing results. And if you want to know more about that, GoalMasteryJournal.com. If you go to GoalMasteryJournal.com, you'll be able to get this program. And if you do it before the end of the month, uh, you will find that uh, there is a significant discount on the program. I mean, a huge discount. So go find out that discount. Go grab that discount. And it will change your life. Everyone who has used it, it has made a major impact in their lives, and I uh, I look forward to having it make an impact with you. That is the first step to the nine-step program. That's the entry-level step leading to my nine steps for goal achievement mastery. It took me 45 years to put this program together. Um, there is something in each of these steps. There are two videos per step. Two workbooks per step uh, is a recording of a live masterclass that we did in uh, 2021 and 2022. Um, I think the learning and the opportunities for growth in there are absolutely golden. And there's also a huge discount on that program right now. If you want to learn more about that program and everything else that I have, Go to MikeDeLucaCoach.com. Simple to uh, remember, MikeDeLucaCoach.com and learn about the Your Nine Steps program for goal achievement mastery. If you don't want to think about Mike DeLuca Coach, look up YourNineSteps.com. It'll take you to the same place. Uh, if you are interested in dreams or have a family member who is interested in their dreams, this is a great course. It's non-denominational. There are no affiliations. It's real simple. It's a great program. And it's called RideMyDreams.com. RideMyDreams.com. Simple as that. There uh, are several videos, uh, some bonus audio videos. There's a great course called Quantum Dreaming built into that and my own unique dream dictionary uh, built into that. Uh, so if you love dreams the way I do, uh, many of you do, 
uh, have someone go to the ridemydreams.com site. That is also at a big discount, huge discount. So um, think about doing that. All right, enough of the shameless commercial, uh, but have to do it. And uh, bills to pay and people to pay. And that's why I have these shameless commercials on Sunday. But that's it. So I think you all have found some value in tonight. Yes or yes? Was it valuable enough to spend the time? And for folks there on Facebook, whether you're joining us right now or later on, uh, I hope you found value in this. I hope that you um, will take the time to do the exercise and understand that in every experience we have, whether it be one that went as planned or one that didn't, there are golden nuggets in there. There is golden value in both the things that have worked out and the things that don't. And I hope that this um, exercise tonight helps you. Um, you will be able to watch it again on Facebook Live, on my Facebook page, and um, I hope you enjoy it. I want to thank you all for joining me, whether you've been joining us on Zoom or joining us on Facebook Live. I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, I, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share things that have been of value to me in my life, and I hope that they will be of value to you. Uh, I love you all. I'm very grateful that you uh, choose to spend the time with us uh, these Sundays. And uh, I'm grateful that you allow me to bring some of what has uplifted me in my life uh, into your life so that you can enjoy it and also share it with others. So I wish you a good night, a good week, a good life, and I will see you next time. So thanks again for joining us.